Greetings everyone and welcome back to another video in the iWish series, a series in which I buy things off Wish to see if they're any good most of the time, well 99.99999% of the time they're no good, but I thought maybe this time things may turn out well. This time I've decided to buy a tablet off Wish, a device which most people don't really use anymore, I mean it's tablets are still used but they're just not as popular as they were say you know five years ago sort of thing when everything had to be a tablet. Uh, so I thought well I'm sick of sort of looking at phones from Wish, a tablet has to be different in some way or shape or form. The phones that are being offered on Wish aren't really offering anything new, except one that says it's waterproof and stuff like that, which I want to have a look at soon. I received this, and it only took seven days from China because it was delivered express, but the one that we're having a look at today, I will warn you, we're going to be having a look at the listing. This is going to take a long time, but it's always tradition. We always go through the listing to point at any funny jokes, and my god, this listing has a bunch of them. I'll put a timestamp here to skip to when I start having a look at the actual stuff. Uh, there's also timestamps here as well. Also, just as a warning as well, this will be a very in-depth review. I'll be looking at the device, tearing it down, testing it, all sorts of things. So that's why the duration of this video is so long. The item I picked up cost me $159 total. That's in Australian. I'm not sure what it is in US, but I can display it here for you all in uh, Euro and Pounds as well if you wanted to know. But the item that we're having a look at Apart from the fact that I have no idea what it is actually going to look like, because there's about eight different pictures, which we'll see very soon, this is the 2020 new upgraded 10.1 inch octa core 10G plus 512 gig Android 10.0 Wi Fi tablet PC 2560 by 1600 IPS screen tablet support, dual SIM card, HD camera, phone, 4G computer, PK iPad mini pro 9.7 Air iPad Pro. Did you get all that? I hope you did, because uh, it's a lot to take in. But the picture shows that it's a 10 gig unit plus 512 gigs of storage with 4K and Wi-Fi, because, you know, it's got to have Wi-Fi, doesn't it? It's got 4G LTE, 4K Ultra HD, new upgrade, Android 10.0, GPS, a little Android dude in a suit. And it says it comes with a free gift. And I shook around the box and it sounds like there's something rattling around inside of there. So, you know, that'd be good to see. But as we go down the pictures to the next one, the tablet's the same looking thing, but then it goes, it's a 10 core, 10 gig Android 9 with an 8800 milliamp hour battery, support TF card 10.1 inch with Bluetooth, HD camera, GIFT and all that sort of thing. So uh, I don't know what's going on. Then you, then you go to the next picture and then it's another picture that says Android 9.0 and it's an 8700 milliamp hour battery and at 512 gigs of storage and the picture's different. And then the next listing shows another different tablet, which looks like an iPad. Well, it is probably an iPad. Uh, 10G operation and 512 gig storage. The tablet computer responds quickly and fast. There are no pressure to play large games or run multi-programs. TF memory card extension is supported. RAM 10 gig, ROM 512 gigs. High speed Wi-Fi, better experience in playing. There are more smoother and higher network speed, less signal interference, better experience equipped with Bluetooth and you can connect with all kinds of Bluetooth equipment. I bet. It's an A72 Deca Core processor. Better game enjoyment. They look like they're having a good time. And then the next picture is just, it's another tablet. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Six gigs operation and 64 gigs of storage. The tablet computer responds quickly and fast. There are no pressure to play. You've heard all this before. That's because in the listing, you can choose a four gig and 64 gig unit, which is called a test model. Then a six gig plus 128 gig, which is also called a test model. Then you can choose an eight gig plus 512 and then 10 gig plus 512. Obviously I chose the highest one because why not? So, yeah, I don't know what's going on here with all these different things. Another one here that says that the bright coloured and bright high definition screen makes each picture vivid and the details clearer with a 1960 by 1080 resolution screen. And the pictures just sort of repeat for a little bit. And then you get WPS Simple Office. Supports WPS Office Work Software, Mobile Office in any time and anywhere, synchronous data easily. It doesn't matter that you are in work or travel. Well, I'm glad because no one can really travel at the moment, so that's all right. Immersive 3D stereo surround sound, broad cavity design, high pitched mid-tone, precise bass thick, sound more loud and sound quality more pure, bring a better experience. If this has stereo speakers, I'll... I really don't know what I'll do, to be honest. I'll be very surprised. It should have stereo speakers. A wireless Bluetooth 4.1, not 5.0, but that's okay. Better which compatible with Bluetooth phones and Bluetooth headsets. 
the space between the headset and the S. Also, you can share documents indefinitely. Well, that's good to know. Play freely all day. 8800 milliamp high capacity explosion proof polymer battery with long service life and long endurance. It's, it's explosion proof. I feel better now. But you can be playing games, listening to music, and watching movies, so it's, it's good. Android 8.0 system, which we've been told so far that it's Android 10, then 9, then 8. Next we'll be told it's Android 7, and it'll probably be Android 5, who knows. System based on the deep development of Android, which is more perfect and fluency. It also supports all kinds of software and development downloads. Yep, GPS satellite navigation more accurately. Good to know. WPS Simple Office. Again, you can have a look at that. Sports dual SIM card and dual standby. So it's a tablet with dual SIMs. So I'm thinking it's going to be like a, a cheapy motherboard from all those other welcome devices we've had a look at with just this battery slapped in there. I, I really don't know. I'm just guessing. I wonder if we could actually use this as a phone. We'll see. And the last picture is the plug you can choose. I chose Australian because obviously that's where I am. The description has some strange things going on. If you want to have a pause and read here, see if you can spot anything, you know, that seems a bit silly. Maybe uh, number five there. The thickness of fuselage is only 6.9 millimeters, and it is made of mental material, which makes it more comfortable to hold and lighter to carry. Mental material, huh? Fair. But the funny thing is it actually shows the specs of the unit that says it's got a Mali 400 GPU, a MediaTek MT6592, dual 3G flat panel screen. I think the pictures are lying, and we've got the real specs here. 1960 by 1080 is the resolution it reckons. 8 million pixels is the rear camera, and 2 million pixels is the front one. And yeah, pretty much everything here seems to show the real specs, but I've bought something off Wish. I have no idea what I'm going to get. But anyways, here's the 2020 new upgraded 10.1 inch octa-core 10. Oh my god, let's just get into it. So in this garbage bag, we have this. As I said, it took like seven days from China because this was one of Wish's selected express delivery item things. So yeah, seven days from China to Australia. Pretty good. All right, went over everything in the listing. It's pretty funny. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what it's going to look like. Enough rambling. Here we go. I see a white box. I'm very uh, surprised. You know, I thought that there might be something on the box, but no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, look at that. We actually have a picture on the box. That's a first. We also have our free gift too, which it actually is a pair of um, probably Bluetooth. It will be Bluetooth actually, Bluetooth headphones. Now I've reviewed a bunch of headphones slash earphones over the last uh, week or so. Um, so these will be terrible, but it was free, man. You know, with your $130 purchase, it's free. All right, here it is. It's looking pretty uh, iPad sort of thing going on. Nothing. Just plain. Oh, there's stuff on the side. Oh dear lord, it's a P20. Memories of looking at that uh, P20 phone. Uh, 10 plus 512 gig with some Chinese writing there. Not too sure what that says. Someone will tell me in the comments about 64 times. And then we've got certifications and all that sort of stuff. Made in China. Of course it is. Here we go. Let's have a look at this thing. And Oh boy. I've got my eyes shut. I don't want to look. Oh, okay. We have, we have a... Uh, a thing here telling me what I should do and what I should do. The Play Store app is an app specially adapted for mobile phones, so some apps for mobile phones may not be suitable for tablets, resulting in some software being unable to be installed. It is recommended to download the special software for the tablet. Also, please note that large games like Call of Duty may not run. Have they been watching my videos where I've tried Call of Duty and it doesn't play? Because the devices mainly only have one gig of RAM and, well, they don't work, but... Oh, well, there you go, there's a guide here saying, hey, if it doesn't play things, it's not our fault. You, you bought something off Wish, you get what you deserve. So, oh boy. Let's just put this over to the side for a minute. Actually, it kind of is heavy and solid. That's what she said. But we'll put that brick to the side for a second and have a look at what's included in this marvellous box. That's fucking it? Really, guys? <laughs> Couldn't have, you know, thrown it in any better, but we've got... Is it? No, micro USB micro USB. The brick though is an actual different brick this time around. 5 volt at 2 amps. It's still extremely cheap. Actually, let's see how cheap it is. We need reinforcements. That didn't work. 
stronger than I thought. Sorry, I used a thing called the Mighty Foot to uh, break that apart. And there you go, that's uh, the electronics inside of it. Just love this this foam piece just here, you know, just for safety. But no, that's what you're going to be plugging into your wall if you want to do that. That's absolutely fine. But for me personally, uh, no, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be fine with my genuine chargers. Thank you very much. But I'll just put that over there or something. It also came with an on-the-go cable, uh, but... It's slightly bent a little bit. Looks a little bit off just there, but that's all right. And then we've got the user manual, tablet computer series. Uh, this handbook contains important information. If feel tinnitus, lower the volume or stop using it. That's probably a good idea. Just stop using it altogether. Uh, touch panel. No, oh, is that a Android 4 there? Yeah. Did it say HDMI or am I just seeing things? It does. It says HDMI output interface. That might be interesting. All right, well, uh, yeah, apart from it looking like Android 4, please touch option delete SD card, just plus, plus. Yep, all right. The company reserves the right to vary the product design. Yep, well, we don't even know what company you are, so okay, fair enough. All right, here's the gem here. Oh, oh look at what we have here. Look at that beautiful plastic finish right there. Actually... Sorry, I know people do not like this. I understand. I carved an H into it because I didn't know what else to put. Um, but that's okay. It seems to be metal or aluminium. So that's good. Uh, my unit also came with a bit of iffiness on there. That's okay. But yeah, got a triple camera set up there with... The flash, that's the real camera. These two are duds. I can guarantee that. But no, you've got uh, dual speakers here, presumably anyways. And then flipping it over. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for this. I did this. That's it there. I think it's got a screen protector already applied onto it. Okay, so there is a screen protector already pre-installed. That's why it's um, so shimmery, shiny, and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's glass. So around the device, we've got a headphone jack up there, which is a bit strange, but alrighty. Uh, power button, volume rocker, and then around there, nothing. Around there, nothing. And the top... We've just got our micro USB port and that's it. But I presume that we rip this off to get to the, what the picture showed. Hang on. All right, so lifting up the top bit of plastic here, you've got access to uh, dual SIM cards. They do look like, are they mini SIMs? No, they can't be mini SIMs. Why would they have mini SIMs on here? Oh my God, they're mini SIM. <laughs> Um, okay, so you can put nano sims in here, providing you have the adapter. Oh, that's off to a good start. And then, of course, we've got just a micro SD card slot, smack bang, just there. And also, for anyone curious, I guess we should just do this. There you go. There's your single camera, just there, like so. Did you really think this would have triple cameras? I mean, there's a cutout there to suggest that the camera could have been there, but uh, there you go. There's your little guy on the back there. But I'll go ahead and just put him back just on like that because that's perfectly fine. We didn't see any of that, did we? Is it even going to go back down? Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Sorry, there was a bunch of fingerprints already on there, but um, I wonder if this home button will actually work or not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up. Sorry, you can see all the reflections and stuff, but ah, it should be fine. Is it a welcome? It is. It's not. It's a media. It actually says MediaTek. I am surprised. You can see my face. Hello. Wow. Oh, it's a. It's a loading. Android. It's. It's good. Pretty happy with this so far. Is there going to be a setup screen? Is there going to be anything? I don't know if I should take this uh, screen protector off or not. Oh my God. Okay. I've got headphones on, and that hurt. Here it is, folks. I actually might have to change um, camera angles because this really just isn't working. All right, this setup is really janky at the moment, but I just want to test out to see if this uh, home button does anything. Oh my God, it actually does. Wow, does holding it do anything? Oh, it's um, Task Manager. 
Okay. I have not opened anything. Messaging sound recorder. So maybe they were testing it before they sent it out to me. Who knows? But anyways, booting it up. Uh, what does it look like? Android 6, probably. Maybe 5. I really don't know. But, um, yeah, it's all looking uh, very plain and dull at the moment. The wallpaper is like so, holding it. We can change the wallpaper and the widgets. Uh, let's just have a look at the wallpapers now, actually. Why not? Let's see what we've got. So we've got some birds. You've got a cropped one and a non-cropped one, but that's okay. Oh, the screen resolution's not agreeing with the camera at the moment, but that's okay. We've got a bunch of butterflies. We've got the, the beach, and we've got the ocean, and then we have the... There's a bird in a boat. And then we have... A guy rowing across the river. We've got some flowers. I don't know if these are stolen off anything. I don't know. We've got that there too. We've got some pebbles. Well, it reminds me of kind of um, iPhone. Black hole, bubbles, phase, beam, and spectrum, all that sort of thing. Home screen wise, very basic. You've got camera settings, gallery, phone, contacts, menu, messaging, and browser. But opening up the menu itself, we've got Antutu Benchmark already installed. Sure thing. Browser, calculated calendar, camera, clock, contacts, downloads, file manager, FM radio, gallery, Google settings, messaging, music, Netflix, phone, Play Store, settings, and sound recorder. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and chuck a SIM card in, if I can. So we'll change the SIM cards. Uh, supposedly, it's going to work. So far, I've tried three different SIM cards, and none of them are picking up anything. I'll try... One from an actual phone that I do use. Probably not a good idea, but that's alright. Oh god, that sounds horrendous. Okay, do I have service this time? Okay, so I can't get a signal. I think this might be 2G only. I mean, considering that I'm using mini sims, I have a feeling this might be 2G only. So uh, that kind of throws everything out the window. Oh, well, that's alright. Won't be testing it for phone calls then. Alright, so they're coming straight into settings, basic sort of stuff. So we've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM cards, data usage, and more. SIM cards just says the Vodafone one, but nothing, nothing else. And coming into more, if I search for cellular networks, um, preferred networks, okay. So 2G, 2G, 3G, all that sort of thing. Well, Vodafone, Vodafone AU, 3G, let's see if this, oh, okay. Is it going to work this time around? No available networks. No idea, I will look into that further. Uh, in display, wallpapers we've had a look at, brightness level, adaptive brightness, all that sort of stuff, car screen, nothing unusual. Sound notification, sound enhancement is there as usual. We don't need to go through these, the best order and best loudness. Interruptions, we're not going to go through ringtones or anything like that, that's perfectly fine. Uh, storage, let's come to storage. 512 gigs, right there. Mm -hmm. It's looking good, fellas, looking good. All right, battery-wise, what does it say? 63%, approximately 18 days left. Well, that's a lot better than what we've seen before, but, you know, 8,800 milliamp hours, it's a big tablet. You never know, big device. Uh, coming into apps, downloaded Antutu or Netflix. Okay, maybe there's an APK file somewhere. Okay, well, obviously this is everything here. So if you want to have a pause and look through all of these apps yourself, feel free. But I'm just going to quickly scroll through these as per usual, just in case if I see anything that looks a little strange. But you never know, you never know. I don't really know a lot of what these are sometimes. Launcher 3, ah, I know someone who's using that. Mobile anti-theft, all that sort of stuff. Netflix... Yeah, it all looks pretty... Oh, Lollipop, there you go. <laughs> that's what it reckons, anyways, Lollipop. Ooh, some random Chinese app there, not too sure what that is, but that's okay. Security. Um, can we do, like, a fingerprint or something like that? I wonder. Face unlock, voice unlock, pattern, pin, and password. Nothing important there. Device admin, unknown sources, is on by default. Okay. Uh, accounts. Is there any accounts? No. Nothing there. Date and time. All that sort of stuff. Let's come to about tablet. See what it says. All right. So it's a Tab 910 with Android 10. CPU information. 10 cores, 2.3 gigahertz. The screen size 2560 by 1600. Can't make up its mind, can it? Uh, the build number is just there. The custom build number and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Android 10. Let's go ahead and see the Easter egg. Hang on. I can't remember how to do it. There you go. Oh, lollipop. It's uh. It's Good surprise there. 
five whole versions less than what we anticipated. Oh, well, let's go ahead and play the uh, Easter egg, which I can't remember what it is. There you go. Flappy Bird. Oh, there it is. Yay. A game that I can never get more than two on because it's impossible. Anyways, uh, yep, so it's a lollipop. That's good. But it's a tab 910. There you go. Didn't know that. Serial number as usual, 01234567899ABCDF. Uh, the IMEI info, let's have a look at this. There's the IMEIs. If you want to look them up, feel free. That's basically it, isn't it? There's nothing really going on. Uh, I will come into files, actually, to see if anyone's downloaded any APKs anywhere. No, it doesn't seem like it. It's fairly basic in that regards, but they've got Antutu on here by default, which uh, Antutu 4, by the way. <laughs> It's a, it's a little old. It's fine. Okay, I have to sit in complete darkness because it just the lighting sucks. Okay, so yes, they have Antutu 2, 2, 4 built on here by default, just to tell you, hey, yeah, it does have everything that you think it does have. But um, wait till we run device info hardware, and uh, we'll see what it says. All right, so we're going to go through the apps real quickly. I don't think there's going to be anything of use on here. The phone looks like that. Contacts looks like... So I was going to say, who's Andrew? I don't know. Uh, messaging, nothing in there. Uh, browser, is it going to be the default looking browser? Oh, I don't really know, to be honest. Is it the one? We'll have to connect to Wi-Fi. Sorry, my bad. Uh, we'll open camera, just see what it looks like. Oh, yep. Just basically the same one that we've seen before, except on a tablet. That's really it. Switching to the front camera, it looks a little something like that in complete darkness, mind you, but that's okay. Let's go into settings. What is it? Oh, we've got zero shutter delay, anti-shake, all that sort of stuff. Picture size, eight megapixels, yep. And video quality is set to high. Uh, obviously, because it's uh, night time, I won't be able to do anything, but I will take some photos and stuff and uh, let you know what they look like. Do we have autofocus, by the way? Touch and hold on screen for object tracking. I don't think we have autofocus. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like we have autofocus. I mean, I am in low light, so... Alright, if this tablet survives, I will take some photos and uh, show you all what they look like and show you what the videos look like, so um, feel free to grab a drink and um, we'll be right back. Alrighty, doing the main camera test for the Wish tablet, tablet thing. Uh, there's no autofocus going on. The autofocus icon comes up, but it actually doesn't do anything. Um, if I show you what it does, that's all it does. Actually, it might have done something just then, actually. I'm not too sure. Can't really tell. Um, this is with EIS on, by the way. I don't think that's working <laughs> per se but at least you get an idea of what's going on. And we'll see how it changes with different exposure, like sunlight and stuff like that. Let's see it changing. There we go. Definitely not the best quality camera out there, but you know, this is on a tablet. What do you expect? There's also an option to toggle HDR on, but I don't see any difference between the photos, but you never know, there might be something. Here's the brick ball as usual, the random bolts. There you go, focus on them. Yeah, no, it doesn't really do anything. And then come down to Stuart. He's just chilling. At least I've got a big screen to actually see Stuart for a change. I think a bug just flew up my nose, but it's okay. There's these uh, lemons. Just the uh, trees coming back. Pretty dull, pretty lame, but everything's okay. And of course, the aircon, just like so. And we can do a digital zoom two, four times. And that's what it looks like. So that's pretty much it. Okay, testing video recording on the Wish tablet thing. Uh, I guess this is as good as it's going to get. There's a bee hanging around. Why is there a bee hanging around? I don't know. 
It's uh, really weird doing it this way. I probably should have done it in portrait mode, but it's perfectly fine. I think you get the uh, idea of what's going on. I seem to be a bit warped there. That's that's fine. Perfectly fine. Oh yeah, my thumbs are also going in the way of the uh, camera. My bad. So you've just seen the photos and videos that I did with this thing. The back camera is actually not too bad. For what it is, it's not too bad. And it turns out it's actually a 13 megapixel camera that's loaded on this thing, which is very surprising to be fairly honest. The rear pictures are not that bad. They are quite acceptable. The front camera is absolute garbage, but that's another story, but the rear camera itself is not that bad. So I thought to myself, if the rear camera is that good, why not make it a little bit better? And I decided to open open camera and see if I could get anything better out of it. And the photos look about the same, to be fairly honest. I tried to get better video quality out of it, but unfortunately I'm stuck at 720p on this. But I tried. But yes, the camera is good. That's the only good thing about this so far. Also, I just want to see if the LCD is IPS or not. And that is a definite no. No, it washes out when you go to another angle. All right, I'm going to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. Um, it shows both my 2.4 gigahertz network as well as my 5G one. So I'm going to try 5G and see what happens. Oh, the uh, keyboard sounds, by the way. Sounds good. All right, well, it's connected. Also, I've just realized uh, there was no system update, was there? There was not. So let's go ahead and open browser now. Let's see if it does anything. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll just open YouTube through the browser and see what happens. Probably won't work. Oh, no, there we go. That's fine. I'll search for my channel because why not? Did I spell it right? Yeah, it's, that's fine. So playback settings, I can choose 1080p, so I'm going to choose 1080p. So it's struggling, um, even though it's not full 1080p, it was struggling. I think it might be playable at 720p. I can double tap to skip, but the, uh, the bar along the bottom's not there because the navigation bar, that's, it's fine. It's got a bit of stuttering to it, but otherwise it does work at 720p. Mind you, I'm using the browser YouTube, so I'd probably be better on the actual app itself, but at least it works. Also, why did a second camera appear just there? I don't know. Uh, maybe I should use the tablet like this, to be fairly honest, instead of using it the other way. might be easier. Calculator, do we really need to look at that? No. Um, just return me back to that screen calendar camera, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open up BFG Division by Mick Gordon, just to see if we've got stereo speakers. It does sound like it, but I can't be too sure. So just flip it over, pump it up all the way. Yeah, I believe we actually do have stereo speakers. Yeah, because I can feel the feedback from there, and I can feel the feedback from there. All right, well, let's go ahead and see how loud it is then. Yeah, 101. It does have stereo speakers, so that's good. But the battery is also dying very quickly as well. FM radio, does that work? Or please plug in headphones as an antenna. I will do a bit of a bonus review on those um, Bluetooth earphones at the uh, end of this video, maybe. Well, let me go ahead and sign into a Gmail account. And um, we'll start downloading some apps, I think. Because there's really nothing much we can do on this, to be fairly honest. I can't make phone calls, because it's only 2G. and Well, I think it's 2G anyways. All right. Let me do the account stuff then. Even if I did get phone calls working, I have a feeling it probably just wouldn't do anything anyways because A, it's 3G. It still would work on 3G, but I just have a gut feeling that it's uh, it's 2G only, even though it came up as 3G. I, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and start downloading some stuff. Uh, come straight to the Play Store, see what happens. Can we get Call of Duty? That's the first thing I want to check. We cannot. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Can we at least get Minecraft Trial going? Oh, uh, okay. It just crashed. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's reasonable. That's fine. Well, it worked for about five seconds, and then um, that's pretty much it. I also just went into settings and cleared the data for the Play Store, and it worked. 
okay. The app may not be optimized for your device. That's perfectly fine. Oh, should we put Raid Shadow Legends on here? Ah, who plays that, man? We can put Crazy Taxi on here, I guess. I'm going to say that this thing has one gig of RAM, man. Which is, um... That's going to be quite disappointing. <laughs> I was expecting at least two. You know, you're paying 150 bucks. You're getting a bigger screen. It's going to be good, right? I was hopeful, okay? I was hopeful. It sucks that I've had to do this one completely in the dark, but the screen resolution just doesn't agree with absolutely anything. And uh, speaking of screen resolution, just give you a bit of a look just there. I think that gives you a rough idea of the uh, screen res. I'd say it's probably 1280 by 720 at best. I could be wrong though, but that's what I'm thinking. I figured while I was speaking of the screen resolution, I'm going to do the YouTube test again with a 4K video. And we can see what the colors are like on the screen and stuff. Hey guys, guess what? Come check this out. Oh, look, it's a wish it ad. How wonderful. Oh Everyone's happy. I will link this video down in the description below, but this is 720p, 60fps, I believe. No, 480p. No, we can do 720p. So I bump it up to 720p. Yeah, I can see the colors are very washed out, though. But we do have 60 FPS going and it seems to be reasonable. So that's a good thing. But yeah, the colours are very washed out. And it's stuttering ever so slightly. But no, otherwise it seems to be okay at 720p. Alright, so I've got Crazy Taxi and I've got Minecraft Trial installed. We'll start with Minecraft Trial and see how that goes. In regards to the user interface, it seems to be fairly smooth. But then, when you start opening a bunch of stuff up, that's it. It just it just doesn't want to anymore. Also, it's lagging here because there's a lot of stuff going on. But we'll just create a new world and see how we go in terms of gaming. But the fact that we can't play Call of Duty means that it's less than 2 gigs of RAM. Which is not really surprising. Also, I'm wondering if the uh, back of this being metal is the most uh, heaviest part of this. And the screen as well. I reckon there's a weight inside of here, to be fairly honest. But... I won't push my luck. Look, I'd say that basic games would be fine on this, but <laughs> anything past basic, yeah, no. I mean, $150 on this already. You could buy a lot better devices with 150 bucks, that's for sure. Okay. We're in. Hey. That's, um, that's reasonably smooth. I always say it's reasonably smooth, but wait till we get out into, you know, some chunk area. Some chunk area, that'll make sense. You people will understand what I'm talking about. This is surprisingly smooth. I wonder if I tried to install Call of Duty um, on my SD card. I wonder if it would actually work. Because this seems to be reasonably good. Well, I can tell you that it's two-point multi-touch. So that's good, and that's a good sign. Bit of a lag there, but... No, otherwise, no, it's actually extremely playable. I mean, a lot better on some of the other clones we've looked at, and they're, you know, mobile devices. Maybe there is something good going with this after all. Anyways, I'll just use the capacitive button to go back, which it does. All right, cool. I'll try Crazy Taxi. Please enter your age. 140... Okay. 102... You're telling me 102 year olds can't play Crazy Taxi? That's not fair. 96. There we go. Feel better. Yeah, this always works, to be honest. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Actually, it's more than reasonable. It's quite fine. But Crazy Taxi runs on basically anything. Also, the sound glitch is present on every single device because of the fact that I don't have um, background music on. That's all. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, yeah, well, that's perfectly fine. I'll try Call of Duty. I mean, it did say in the box that uh, it probably won't run it, so, you know, I'll try my luck. So I've only been recording for an hour, and the battery's already dropped from 60% to 35%. I haven't really been putting it through its paces either. So I don't think it's got an 8800 milliamp hour battery in here. Probably maybe 3000, if that. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens. Launch it. Oh. Alright, I tried something else. Let's see if this works. Okay. This is a good sign. 
Oh, that's fine. We don't care. The device doesn't match the spec. Purple. Okay, that means it's not going to work. <laughs> I tried. For the whole shits and giggles, I decided to load GTA 3 on here. Because I thought it should run fairly well, shouldn't it? Well, I thought so too. Yeah, looking good, you know? Yeah, see, looking good, right? Get in the car, start driving your little heart out. Whee! And then everything goes to complete shit. <laughs> yep. That's fine. It's completely fine. There you go. It's, uh, it's Rave Party GTA 3. <laughs> Never seen this mod before. Okay, well, I definitely don't have high hopes for the specs then, at all. Uh, I can search for malware bytes as well to see if we've got any viruses kicking around on here. And doesn't look like it. So yeah, it's definitely less than 2 gigs of RAM for sure. So I've got CPU-Z, system info, device hardware info, and um, Geekbench installed. So we'll start with Geekbench, whatever the hell that is. There it is. Go on, surprise me. It's a HYD Tab 910, Android 5.1, MT6592. It did say that in the uh, wish listing. 1.3 gigahertz and uh, 1 gig of RAM. I have high hopes for this. High hopes. Oh, we'll let Geekbench do its thing and uh, go from there. Well, that's going to take ages to run, so why don't we do something else in the meantime? It's called Let's Have a Look at These. Um, so, yeah, this won't take long at all, I don't think. Grab these out of here. Oh, it's got a pretty long cable. It's a uh, XT11. you got a cable that's the size of an ant. That's good. And we've got a little tiny manual here, an itty-bitty one, just like so. I can't even fucking read that. To power on, press and hold, enter end key for about three seconds until flashes blue. To power off, press and hold for about six seconds. It goes off. There you go. Might give you an idea if you want to pause that and have a read of that. I think I've got a fair idea of what to do. Power button is just there in this in this chunky bit here, which is just all plastic, obviously. Buttons, yep. All right. Yep, I see blue. Okay. It comes up as Bluetooth music. So I'll... Uh, Connect Bluetooth music. I have done so. Pressing these buttons goes to the next song. Holding puts the volume up. Letting go puts it down. Pressing that just plays it. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and put these in my ears and hopefully this doesn't um, catch fire or explode or anything. It should be fine. How do I know which one's left and which one's right? It doesn't even tell me. Okay, so I've got them in currently. Um, they barely fit in my ears. There is absolutely zero bass. It feels like there's tin cans in my ears. It probably wouldn't last more than half an hour on battery, but hey, you never know. Oh no, they're really uncomfortable. But no, there's absolutely no bass, the sounds and all that. It just, no. Oh yeah, no, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. I don't know if you can hear that. I mean, as a free gift, I guess it's uh, it's reasonable. <laughs> but no, they're just cheap plastic things. At least they're not wired ones. They're moving up in the world by giving you free Bluetooth ones. I don't know if you can hear this. Disconnected. Hopefully you got to hear that. I guess we could go ahead and just see what's inside of here, I suppose. Alright, well, opening up this... That's uh, all we have inside. We've got a chip in there. Don't know what chip that is. It's an A, B, something or other. Yeah, you might be able to see what that is. There you go. So that's what's there. I didn't do the mic test, but that's all right. It's still on. That's all right. Let's <laughs> look at the battery. <laughs> oh, it's a little tiny guy. He's all right. Let's just poke it with a metal tool because that's all right. That's perfectly fine. Uh, he's an unknown one. He does have D1 printed on him. But, uh, no, he's just a little guy, just sitting in there, just chilling. He's having a good time. Everyone's having a good time. The good thing is you can reassemble this and reuse this if you want to. There we go. Back together. See? Can use it. All right, well, um, that was fun. Geekbench is, uh, it's closed on me. Damn it. I gotta do that again. <laughs> it crashed on me. 
Okay, I've tried it again and Geekbench crashes. This is the version made for it, but it just doesn't want to work. I tried. Sorry. Alright, coming to CPU-Z, let's have a look and see what it has to say. MT6797, 1.3 GHz, cores for 10 CPUs though. Yeah, that makes sense. Mali 450MP, yep. Tab 910, 11.6 inches, 2560 by 1600, 10 gigs of RAM. Android version 10 with the API 11 being 22, no root access at all, all that sort of stuff. Thermal, and there's a fucking TikTok ad. Get away, uh, Thermal. Uh, there's all the sensors and stuff, and that's pretty much it. So next we'll come to uh, CPU system info, which is one that usually tells us most of the stuff, but I've got to turn it turned into portrait mode. That's fine. It is. It's a HYD Tab 910. That is what it is called. MT6592. It reckons the hardware is 5.1. Lollipop 6592 is still what it reckons. It's better than a 6580, I've got to say. Total and total memory, 524 gig used is uh, 3 gig, yep. RAM, 10 gig. Yep, okay, so this is hiding pretty well. Screen resolution there, 1217 by 800, so 1280 by 720 around about, but I'd say the next app will tell us uh, everything properly. Uh, battery, yes. Uh, nothing there in terms of milliamps or anything. Thermal, sensors, cameras, the f Oof, the back one's 13 megapixel and the front one's 8 megapixel, okay. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Alright, device info, hardware, here we go. This should tell us basically everything that's going on. 1280 by 800, that seems about right. 1 gig DDR2 is just down the bottom there. We have our flash being a Toshiba one with 16 gigs. So uh, 10 gig RAM and uh, 512 gig, nah. It is an MT6592 though, so that is uh, that is appreciated, I guess. It still says 10 cores, but we know that it is uh, 4 cores. It is only a quad core. Mali 450 MP, so that's probably why it does work better with uh, Minecraft. It's got that little bit of oomph um, instead of the Mali 400 MP, so I guess, you know, it's half decent. Everything there looks about correct. Uh, RAM, it still says 10 gig, but then it says 1 gig just there. And it's DDR2 as well, not DDR3. 1000 milliamp hours is what the battery reckons, but you know, once we tear it down, we'll get to see. The last thing I do when I check is uh, the multi touch test. I'm pretty sure it is in Antutu 4. I can't really tell, but I'd say it would probably be a two point multi touch. Yeah, I can't really tell. I uh, uninstalled Antutu and uh, tried to install a new version and uh, just doesn't want to work, but I'd, I'd say two-point multi-touch. All right, so now this is the point where I get to talk about this device. For 150 bucks, you get a tablet, one gig of RAM, 1280 by 800, 10 inch display, quad core, Android 5.1, micro USB, and you don't even get any cellular connectivity. It's just as it is. For 150 bucks, you can get plenty of budget devices on the market, and I'm pretty sure that you could get tablets from, you know, JB Hi-Fi or Kogan or something like that, that would be much better than anything of Wish. Basically anything is better than anything of Wish. I wasn't expecting much, but I was expecting it to at least have 3G and no, nah, doesn't have that. The screen is pretty horrendous. The battery life appears to be horrendous. Running very outdated specs, of course. You know, I buy these things so then you don't have to buy them. I don't want people going out there and buying these tablets and hoping, you know, to give them to their kids or something, only to realize that they're pretty crap. I mean, 150 bucks, and that's only going to be it for a kid. It's justifiable, but the build quality and all that sort of thing, it's questionable. One drop and it's probably dead. So, you know, anything that's from a reasonable manufacturer is going to be a lot better than this. I can't even run a virus test on this, so i got no idea what's going on with this anyways. Don't buy this off Wish if you can find it on Wish, because as I said, there's like four or five different pictures of the tablet on Wish anyway, so absolutely not worth it, considering we've seen plenty of budget devices that offer decent performance, and yeah, it may not be this size display, but at least you know the internals are going to be good, and it's going to offer more performance than what this thing will do. We've just basically got cheap parts in this. That's all that's Wish, and it looks slightly like an iPad, iPhone 11, camera bump thing going on and the home button there that's only a capacitive one and that's all it does. I was intrigued. We've never had a look at a tablet off Wish. I've had a look and this is basically the most expensive one on Wish. I would hate to see the cheaper ones on Wish. They would probably be 
10 times worse, probably 512 megs of RAM and a dual core. But um, let's not even go into that territory. We've seen this. This is more than enough. It basically doesn't do anything. You could put basic games on it and stuff, as I said, if you're going to give it to a kid. But once again, 150 bucks. just have a look around. A lot of places, you know, they're offering online delivery and stuff at the moment. You'll probably get some really decent bargains online. Something cheapo from a Lenovo, to be fairly honest. Actually, I will just Google while I'm here. At the moment, JBO Hi-Fi has a Lenovo Tab M8 8-inch 32-gig tablet that's 159 bucks with an 8-inch display. Same resolution, but it's got 32 gigs of storage. It does have a MediaTek processor, but it's slightly more powerful and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It's not too bad. There are probably cheaper ones out there, but I'm just only having a quick look. But the whole thing is, you're also getting an item off Wish, which is falsely advertised. A lot of you folk out there should know that Wish does this, you know, falsely advertises these things on there. It says, yeah, it's got 10 gigs of RAM. It's got all this sort of thing to make you buy these products. And it's definitely not the case. These do not have that. So, my honest opinion, shop around, but just not on Wish, please. And don't buy anything that's branded Xcode either, because it's basically going to be the exact same thing as this. So there you go. Altogether, pretty disappointed. But it does have stereo speakers. And fingerprints. So that's, uh, there's one positive out of that. Alright, I'm going to unplug it from life support. I'm going to switch it off. Off we go. There we go. Nothing. No. Display. No. No. No power off animation, that's it. We're tearing it down. I don't know if I'm going to kill it or not. Look, it's going to be no dramas if I don't do the camera test. I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. Uh, also, please, I want my SD card back. Thank you very much. I will have to play around with this off camera and see if I can get um, cellular to work. We've got two screws holding this thing together. Well, I assume it's just two screws. Looks like it. All right, are you ready, folks? Oh, dear Lord. Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yeah. wasn't expecting much. This is a bit of metal, so, you know, that's reasonable. We do have the buttons that just fell out, so I'll just uh, put that with the rest of the stuff. Uh, the headphone jack is just a uh, little piece that's just hanging on for dear life just there. That's okay, we can just put him back there. Such a weird place for a headphone jack, though, but hey, at least they fit it. But no, that board is uh, straight out of uh, something, to be fairly honest. I really don't know. There's our stereo speakers just there, which do work. So I've got to give it some sort of credit. Um, it looks like the display can literally just fall out of the frame, to be fairly honest. I hope I didn't damage the display cable. This battery, though. I mean, it's, uh, it's reasonably sized. We. I'll just be careful with that. Oh shit, okay. So we got nothing printed on there. I will have to Google the code on the battery to see what comes up on Google. Um, to see if it's some sort of OEM battery for something, probably not. Oh, we may as well go ahead and take a couple of these things out. Take the volume flex out like so. Uh, I've got the massive display ribbon, just like so, and then these two just there, but I'll just flip it up. I really just need to just flip it up. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's all that's there. Nothing much. There actually is a code on there. I will take a photo of that. Well, I guess in that regards as well, I may as well pop this up. It looks like it just sort of sits back on, so it should be fine. We should be able to just rip this off. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. There's your MediaTek CPU there, which is an MT6592V. Right there. There is also a SanDisk module just there, as well as another module. So the RAM and the um, flash are probably separate, most likely. So we'll take photos of them also and let you know as to what they are. Okay, so I just said that the RAM and flash module may be separate. But it turns out there's actually two EMMC modules on the motherboard. One's the 16 gig one that we know is in there and the other one is four gigabytes, and it goes completely unused. I have no idea what it's used for. I don't know how to trigger it, so if anyone knows how to get access to this, please let me know. But there you go, just thought I'd share that one with you. Well, that's easy access. You know, you can just slot them back down. You know, it's fine. Just nonchalantly just pull things off like so. 
Probably Wi-Fi and Bluetooth just there, so that's unimportant. Oh, there's the uh, capacitive button just here as well. I would assume so. Would that be the capacitive button just there? Yeah, maybe? Oh, no, it's um the digitizer. Okay, you can stay there. That's fine. Uh, the last thing that I'll have a look at is the cameras. And that's actually a pretty big camera, to be honest. Um, there is a code on that. I will take a photo of that, actually. Oh, okay, so they just put a flex ribbon on the end of that, and just, uh, yeah, that's fine. The wireless antenna is also just glued to that. And the front camera, this little guy just here. Oh, yeah, he is just a little guy. Yeah, that rear camera is actually um, a little bit bigger than most ones, that's what she said. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see what that one comes up with. All right, well, I think that's basically everything in this fairly sure I know what's going on now so I'm gonna put this back together and call this a video I think okay it's back together so I guess we should see if it works yay I didn't kill it which is good but my track record is pretty good anyways I've only killed like one or two devices during this whole I wish thing but if you want to go ahead and pause the video right here and have a read of the specifications of what you're gonna receive on this tablet feel free it's all listed here and basically the moral of this story is just don't buy anything of Wish, to be fairly honest. I'm buying this stuff so you don't have to. And hopefully this video makes people aware that the tablets on Wish are basically all garbage. I thought if I went ahead and bought something that's more expensive, I'd receive something more premium. That's not the case, unfortunately. You receive this, with its whole one gig of RAM and 16 gigs of storage and all that sort of thing. It's just not worth it. The only good thing about this is actually the camera. That's probably the best thing about this, is the rear camera. All in all, I bought an expensive tablet off Wish to see if it was any good, and it's not. So I think I will leave it here. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And um, if you want me to review something off Wish, please let me know down in the comments, and I will try and make it happen. But I've looked at a tablet. It's crap. I don't think I'll look at another tablet on Wish. Unless they actually have genuine tablets on Wish, which might not be bad, but the prices are just, no, don't do it. Anyways, folks, that's it for now. Thank you once again. Be good people. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, didn't spin. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.